All right, next up we have Bruce. Come on up. Thank you. Oh, okay, so my name's Bruce, uh, and I'm gonna talk about how to fix those annoying alerts. So uh, I've been with MasterCard for over a decade now, um, and I've focused my time on uh, really a lot of our observability suite. Um, our monitoring tools, uh, and specifically our alerts. And the reason that I got uh, invested in this topic um, was during our transition from monolith to microservice. So I'm sure a lot of you have done this, um, but as you get more microservices, you have more infrastructure, you have more points of failure, so you need to develop more alerts. Um, and so we developed an alert suite, uh, started our on-call rotation, and for the first year or so of on call, we had five engineers, it went well. Uh, and then, you know, a year or two years later, our on call uh, rotation grew. It split, build, deploy, reliability side. Um, and as a result, we just kind of had issues. We experienced alert fatigue. And part of the reason why is we welcomed people to on call with this alert that just says, hey, one or more machines are running low on space. Uh, click here and figure it out. And so uh, you can imagine when somebody joins an on-call rotation, they just don't know where to begin, right? And as a result, uh, you're going to more senior engineers who have the context, and you need to wait for them to become available, right? They're in meetings uh, where we've got other things to do. We're helping other people with the on-call rotation. And so as a result, you're kind of addressing these alerts at a slower pace. And you know, you're getting an alert every hour telling you that the same thing is wrong, and it's still wrong. Um, so as a result of this, you just kind of have a ton of alerts uh, that you just can't uh, resolve as fast as possible. And so we, we really sat down and said, how can we avoid this? How can we develop um, better alerts? And, and what are some best practices to follow? So we came up with uh, five best practices for alerts, uh, the first of which is context. Why is the alert triggering and why is it important? Um, the, you know, this helps when you're splitting teams and uh, you know, a new team gains, uh, gains an alert. They can decide if the alert's still relevant or updates they need to make to it. So here's that same alert and that first paragraph there is explaining, hey, here's the specific host that's, that has some disk space issues and here's why that's important, right? Um, the next thing, drill downs. It's links to different tools to, that can help dive deeper. So you can tell the on-call engineer, oh, you know, great, there's disk space issues, what service is, is causing this, or you know, just what folder is causing it. Um, click here to, to find more information. And so here you can see uh, just a disk space diagnostic dashboard. Click right in there and you can get started uh, investigating the issue. And you know, just, just helpful for identifying what's, what's wrong there. Uh, then the next thing, I'm sure everybody's familiar with this, is a resolution playbook. Um, what are specific actions to take to, to fix the issue? So if it's uh, a disk space issue and a service is bad, you know, what, how do you restart the service? Uh, maybe you need to file a ticket. You know, here's a link directly to JIRA. And so that's this third paragraph here. You know, you have, here's a way to file a ticket in JIRA. Um, here is kind of, you need to expand the disk. We use Terraform. Here's where, here's where you can issue that pull request. So it's, you know, providing that, that feedback directly to the engineer. And the fourth, and this is a really important one, snoozing. Allow the on-call person to snooze the alert while they investigate. Um, this is huge because nothing bothers you more when you're on-call or causes more alert fatigue when you know of an issue uh, and you're getting to it, but it's triggering every hour or every, you know, you're getting eight of them a day. So that's what this paragraph is doing. Here's a link to ignore list. You can avoid getting alerted while you investigate. And then the last thing, which I think is really important, is further reading. Just links to tangential resources related to an alert. Um, this is, you know, what, the reason that we enjoy this is because uh, it gives anybody who's on the build team more context of how all of their features fit into the larger DevOps model that we have and, and you know, how everything fits together. And so that's what this last paragraph is saying. You know, we're a Windows shop, so here's kind of some Windows host guidance. Um, and so ultimately what this all comes down to is kind of making in engineers and making on-call engineers more independent, um, able to figure out issues without having to ask for help and able to be a, as responsive as possible. And that just makes for happier engineers. And so, you know, in summary, just to like sum this up in one sentence, 
Uh, it's any resource or context required to an address an alert is mentioned directly in the alert itself. Um, so that's, that's the big, yeah, that's my talk. So thank you. Thank you, Bruce. Great job.